Hey guys, so as you may have heard, the team here is heading to the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas next week. As such, there won't be any Netlinked episodes that week because we're going to be pretty swamped making videos about all the tech that's there. So we'll have more in-depth content hopefully being uploaded pretty quick anyway, so it's sort of the same, but different. Oh, and also in today's episode, we're announcing the Fans with Benefits winner for December because we won't have any Netlinked until January 9th, so we figured we'd do it early. So stay tuned till the end of the video for that. And now it's time for the intro. Earlier this week, we reported on an overclocker getting an early KB Lake sample to 7 GHz using liquid nitrogen cooling. Well, looks like AMD's Zen might not be an overclocking slouch either. French PC magazine Canard PC ran a story this week about KB Lake and Zen, but included a long binary string above the article. Some intrepid internet users deciphered the code, and turns out it reads Zen OC at air equals 5G presumably meaning that Zen chips can overclock to 5 GHz using air cooling. Now, after the mystery had stewed on Reddit and some other forums for a bit, Canard PC explained the Easter egg, saying that their source for the benchmarks did indeed sustain 5 GHz on an early Zen sample running a single core using a very large air-cooled heatsink. Now, of course, neither the KB Lake 7 GHz story or this one accurately reflects what normal people would be able to achieve for a stable, all cores enabled overclock. But, Canard PC, and I don't know whether I'm saying their name right, Canard PC is a legit publication, so it's interesting to see the potential that's there at the very least. Regardless, we should get all the details on KB Lake and Zen very soon. Like a few days soon. So be patient already. <sighs> Millennials. And actually, this is embarrassing, but there weren't a ton of other really big stories today. Just a lot of little ones. Everyone's saving up for CES. So in the meantime, time for a not so quick, quick bits. Laptop Media spotted an unannounced Asus laptop, the ROG GX501, after it won a Taiwan Excellence Award. But what's more interesting is its specs. It's apparently running a GTX 1080 while keeping its thinness at 16.5 millimeters. Brains and looks, that's what we all want, folks. LG spilled the beans on a bunch of their CES products already. One of them is the Hub Robot, which is apparently similar to an Amazon Echo, but it will roll around. Hey, want me to search the web for something? Not right now. Okay, let me know. DigiTimes reports that Taiwanese company Pegatron Technology is working on Microsoft Surface Pro 5, and the device is supposed to launch in Q1 2017. But they just launched the Surface Studio. <sighs> so. Samsung is gearing up to show off the CH711, a 27 or 31.5 inch, there's two options, 1440p monitor with a curvature of 1800R. Is that necessary though? I mean, I get curved ultra-wides, but regular 16x9? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Send me a letter. By post. RFID and Bluetooth trackers are cool, but keeping track of your keys via HoloLens is cooler, or so Microsoft thinks, according to a patent describing how your HoloLens would remind you where you last saw your stuff. But what if you lose your HoloLens, eh? Better hire me, Microsoft, I think of this stuff. This looks like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's real. It's called the Method One, and it's made by South Korean company Hankook Mirai Technology, and it's 13 feet tall and one and a half tons, and it would be good for anything you'd need a giant robot for. Disaster relief, fighting aliens, whatever you get up to on a given weekend. Superbook, the laptop dock thing for your smartphone, was supposed to launch this week and didn't, and that's Kickstarter for you, breaking everyone's collective trust. And Thermaltake has announced an RGB power supply, the Tough Power Grand RGB. RGB LEDs have gone far enough, and they need to be stopped. Being added to every product is starting to go to their head. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. <sighs> You're right about the birthday thing, but I believe in you. You can do it. Put your mind to it. You'll get through it. That's a rhyme. I saw it.
And you know what could help you get through it, whatever it is? A dependable device running Windows 10 Pro. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to use that to transition into the sponsorship, that's just how it turned out. With devices running Windows 10 Pro, like the Surface Pro 4, you get the most comprehensive security features with facial recognition using Windows Hello, best-in-class management for business apps, and built-in productivity tools like remote desktop and OneDrive for business. I don't want to say that real professionals use Windows 10 Pro, but that is something I could say, but I won't because I'm trying to be inclusive, but I mean, the Pro is in there for a reason. To learn more about what Windows 10 Pro could do for you and check out some quality devices, click the little link in the corner there. Okay, time to announce the winner for December's Fans with Benefits prize. Drum roll, please. Jack's not here today and Barrett is editing, so there's no one to drum roll. Drum roll, that was it. Congratulations, Super Monkey, you have won. A HyperX, a HyperX Cloud Revolver gaming headset. Make sure to check your YouTube inbox for instructions on how to claim this bad boy. The link will be in the description in case you don't know how to get to your YouTube messages. And of course, it's time to announce next month's prize as well, uh, the one for January, and that is an Adzio MK Retro typewriter inspired mechanical keyboard. It's a bit funky, but hey, it makes a statement. All you gotta do to enter to win this is subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips, that's us, and comment on any video from January, and that's it. We'll announce the winners the first netlinked of February. February, that's how it's spelled. Pro tip. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for the previous video. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. That is our last video of 2016. Happy New Year, everybody. Now I'm going to hide in a closet until 2017 comes, just to be safe.